Hello and welcome to a new video on cryptography for everybody. Today we have a different kind of video again because yesterday I watched a movie and in that movie I found a cipher that I instantly recognized. And in this video we will have a look at that particular cipher of the movie Chicken Hair and in the end of the video we will also break the shown cipher. I structured this video into three different parts. In the first part we will have a short look at the movie Chicken Hair and what it actually is. Then we will have a brief look at the cipher text shown in the movie and finally, as I have already said, we will decipher it. The movie Chicken Hair and the Hamster of Darkness is a 2022 computer animated adventure comedy film. You can see the poster of that movie here on the right side. Produced by N-Wave Pictures and directed by Ben Stassen and Benjamin Musquet, based on the graphic novel Chicken Hair by Chris Grine. And the story is about Chicken Hair, a half chicken and half hare character who wants to be an adventurer. And to prove that he is a true adventurer, he hunts for the so-called Hamster of Darkness, a mystical, powerful artifact. And the movie, at least for me, is an entertaining, well-made computer animation movie with funny characters and a beautiful fantasy world. <laughs> and I especially like the references to Indiana Jones that you can see in the movie. But particularly for me interesting is in one scene a mysterious book which is read by the main character Chicken Hair, and this book contains symbols I instantly recognized. If you're interested in this movie and you want to watch it by yourself, you can watch it right now, at least in Germany, on Netflix. And if you're interested in more details about the movie, I linked here below the uh, homepage of the movie, and I will also put this link below the video. Here is the ciphertext that can be seen in the movie. I made a screenshot of one frame where you can see a very nice, beautiful book. It looks like a book from the medieval ages and it caught my eyes because I instantly recognized the writing you can see on the pages of the book. As you can see, this looks like encrypted text and when I was watching the movie with my girlfriend, I told her I know this writing. And honestly, I had to pause the movie and then show her on Wikipedia the original cipher. And then we saw that it's, it is actually the cipher that was in my mind. And here you can see the cipher text. And these are pages 16 and 17 from the so-called Codex Copiale, an encrypted German Masonic book from the 18th century. And to prove that this was the origin of the cipher shown in the movie, I created this here. On Wikipedia, with that image I have shown you, I found the original source of the writing. As you can see here, you have some triangular shape, then this T that looks like an H, a P, and so on. And this here is exactly a part from that cipher text. Then we have this headline here that you can read. This is also taken from the cipher text, from the Codex Copiale. And finally, you can see also this text here, which is also taken from the Codex Copiale. And you can see here we have some other text and here we have some more text. And to be honest, there are also other scenes in the movie where you can find the same writing. And I think that is something that you could then do after watching my video here. You can watch the movie and try to find the other hidden ciphertext in that movie. Now let's have a look at the Codex Copiale. What is the Codex Copiale? The Codex Copiale is a 105-page encrypted book from the 18th century. And it consists of 75,000 handwritten characters. And I especially like how these characters are written. It's a very well-written book. Of course, you have here and there, you have some corrections, but all in all, I think it's a very beautiful handwriting, very clearly written, very easy to see and to transcribe. But nevertheless, a very difficult cipher, as we will see. 
because the cipher is a homophonic substitution cipher and it consists of approximately 19 homophones. And the book was deciphered in 2011, you, you, you know it's from the 18th century, but it took <laughs> 200 years to decipher it. And it was deciphered by Knight, Magiesi and Schäfer in 2011. And you have there two publications about this book here. If you're interested in more details on the Codex Copiale, I highly recommend that you read these papers. And I will also link these papers below this video. And here is the original, not, not the original, but here is the key that uh, the researchers found. And th thanks to Beata Megieshi for providing the key. And I will use this key here to live decrypt the parts of the book that have been used in the movie Chicken Hair. Now that we know <laughs> what kind of cipher we have and where it comes from, let's decipher the parts shown in the mysterious book of the movie. I'm here now in Microsoft Paint and I pasted all three ciphertext parts into Paint and I also pasted the original key or the key that the researchers um, found on the right side here. And what I want to do now live is I want to decipher all the symbols using this key. And I will fast forward while I do this. So let's decipher the texts. So I finished the decryption. I hope I didn't make too many errors. <laughs> it's quite difficult because the letters are written very close together. So you have not much space as you can see. So I had to alternate between uh, a line here and then a line there and a line here and a line there. Also, as you probably can see, <laughs> and most of you probably cannot read. This is a German text. As I said, it's a Ger German Masonic book. And I will now put this into a notepad. The text that we have here. I used this as space. And all the regular letters here like A, B, C, D and so on are spaces. And of course, the letters here or the sentence are not complete. Of 
also that you can see here, these um, question marks are the so-called logograms. And I don't have right now the um, replacement for these. These are the so-called nomenclature elements, you can say. So one symbol here stands for a word. And we have... And to be honest, this is some very old German. And in a second, I try to translate as far as I, as I can understand it. And maybe <laughs> you can also take the key and try to decipher the other parts that are also uh, used in the movie. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a decipherment that I created using this key. So the first word here, I don't know, it's uh, the ending of a word. Then we have a space. Gereichet is, you could translate this as given. Schüchet, I don't know, it could be shoes. Then we have der, this is the, but in this case is who, and then dirigiere, that means you could translate it as order or orders, who orders. Then we have an E and we have a nomenclature element, so I don't know. So given shoes, who orders, that could be the translation for the first part. This here is quite easy. This is a headline <laughs> and the translation of this is just second part. The correct uh, writing in German would be zweiter Teil. And in English it's second part. Then we have I-N-R-E. This is probably einer. So the E is missing. This is an uh, one. Aufrichtige means honest. Then we have again two nomenclature elements or words that we don't know. And then sich, himself, maybe. And then gebrauchen is use. Then the, th uh, the um, last part is we have ERT. This is the ending of a German word. I don't know. Then we have ein, that is one. This, I don't know what they mean with that. Um, maybe I also made a mistake here. I don't know. Then we have from, our, and then an. I would I would probably translate this from from this on or maybe from von Stund an, from now on. Probably Stund means hour. Could also be um, literally translated from by um, from this hour or from our on. There's no this from our on. Yes, yeah, you can see <laughs> they just used random pieces from the Copiale cipher. And <laughs> luckily, here's nothing um, bad written. Uh, by the authors of the Copiale. I don't know if they, or if there are some um, r text written in the cipher <laughs> that are not um, intended for children. Clearly, the Codex Copiale was not intended for children, but um, these are just, um, yeah, random parts of the text, and they are not very bad. <laughs> Yeah, and as I said, you could now take or uh, watch the movie. As I said, I, I really liked it. And you could have a look for the other encrypted parts. There are a few other um, encrypted um, words where they use the Codex Copiale. And you could try to um, get the key. Of, uh, I will link where you can get it. And then try to decipher the other parts of the cipher. <laughs> so I, I really... I really liked it that um, they used uh, the Codex Copiale. I think they used it because the the style of the uh, ciphertext symbols is quite nice. It looks um, very mystical. And I think that they thought it's appropriate for a fantasy movie for children to have these beautiful and nice 
drawings. Also, I really liked how they put it into this book. This was really beautifully made. And um, yeah, it, it fits the fantasy theme, as I said. And I think that the Codex Copiale was also a good choice with its writing. Yeah, and this is everything that I wanted to do in this short video. I wanted to decipher the parts that are shown in the video and show these to you. I hope you liked it. If yes, please give a thumbs up. Also, if you did not yet subscribe to this channel, please do so. This really helps us to grow the channel and to make Crypto 2, what we usually use in these videos, more popular. Also, hit the bell icon to see when I upload new videos. So, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.